Hi guys, this is just going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get the Windows 8 preview build onto a virtual machine, in this case uh, Oracle's VirtualBox. Um, I'm basically just going to show you how to get VirtualBox, how to install it, and then how to install the Windows 8 preview build onto VirtualBox, and then run it hopefully. I did have Windows 8 up and running, and I was uh, mucking about with it a few minutes ago, but I've uninstalled all of the software you need, so basically if you follow this and do exactly as I say, then you know we'll have the same outcome which is a working version of Windows 8. So the first thing you need to do open up your browser and type in VirtualBox and then go on to downloads. You can install VirtualBox for Mac but I wouldn't really recommend it. They've got their own proprietary virtual machine piece of software so I think it's called Parallels so I'd install that if you've got a Mac. It does work on a Mac by the way, Windows 8 does work on Mac. But since we've got Windows you click here for the Windows bit and save then make sure you know where it's saved. In my case, it's under Downloads. It should look something like that. So double click on it to open it. Press Next. Don't bother with all this stuff, just press Next. I don't really want a shortcut on the Quick Launch Bar, I just want a shortcut on Desktop. Press Next. Don't worry about Network Interface Warning. Press Yes and Install. Now it should only take about 35, 40 seconds to install. Just press yes. You can uh, run Windows 8, by the way, on other pieces of virtual machine software, but you know I'm just assuming you're using VirtualBox because then we can, can just follow this as a step-by-step -step guide. Okay, so if we just press finish now. Got everything here, and then you should have, if you've clicked on it, you should have a desktop icon. Double click on that just to open it. It should look something like this, completely blank, and you know, welcome to VirtualBox. So we'll minimize that and just put it to the side. And the next piece of software you obviously need is the actual Windows 8 uh, developer build, or sorry, the preview build. You can get a developer preview with developer tools, which is obviously useful if you want to develop apps for the Windows 8. Um, I don't. So I want the 64-bit version, which is 3.5 gig just over, because I'm running Windows 7 64-bit. If you've got a 32-bit version of Windows, download 32-bit, you can't run a 64-bit version of Windows 8 if you have a 32-bit. So, you press download and again save. Make sure you know where it's saved, it's quite important. And it's you know obviously it's quite big, it's three and a half gigs for the sixty-four and almost three for the thirty-two. It's quite a crappy connection quality in that the speed's good, but sometimes it interrupts for uh, no apparent reason. So I just left it on overnight and it downloaded. And once you've finished, it should look something like this. If you, I'm using WinZip, so it might look a bit different if you're using a different compression program, but the basic similarity is it should have a Windows Developer Preview and then whatever your 64, 32 bit as the info. Now don't extract it, I made the mistake of trying to extract it, you don't do that. If you go into the properties you'll re realise it's an ISO file, you don't have to do anything with it so that's kind of cool because it takes ages to extract, I know. So the next thing you do, so remember where that is, so it's under my name, Downloads, I just put it in a really obvious place or maybe put it on your desktop. So minimise that, open up um, VirtualBox click on new top left here next then call it whatever you want so I'll just call this the Windows 8 PC just you know make it an obvious name so if you've got more than one virtual machine running you know which one is Windows 8 and then you want the version of Windows that you've got at the moment so I've got the 64 bit version of Windows 7 so it's going to be this one if you've got the 32 bit it hasn't got any you know it's just a blank bit so if you've got 32 bit of uh, Vista it's this 7 is this one so click on that on there, press next. Now the RAM's important, you need a gig minimum to run the 32-bit version of Windows 8 and two gigs minimum for the 64-bit. I'd go slightly above that if you have enough space of your total RAM just because it, you know that's the minimum so maybe it'll be a bit smooth if you have a bit more RAM. So I've got eight gigs, I really wouldn't advise you to go over the green into the orange or the red because if you've got any background tasks in your actual PC, so for example an antivirus software running or something like that, it will slow it down to a crawl. So make sure you stay in the green but give enough space so that it's a bit over the minimum requirements. So I'll give it four gigs. So maybe if you've got four gigs, give it maybe two and a half, something like that. So you press next so after you've finished deciding what, how much RAM you want. Press next, you want to create a new hard disk. You want a virtual box disk image, so next just leave it as it is dynamically allocated and then you can choose a size. 64-bit versions of Windows 8 uh, users you need 20 gigs min 
and uh, I think for 32 bit it's quite a lot smaller, it's something like 13 or 14 gigs. I'm going to give it, make it slightly bigger just because you know there might be a few apps and updates that it needs to download so you don't want to uh, run out of space when you're trying to download something important. So I'll give it 25 gigs, you press next and then you press create and create again because it's just like a confirmation summary and hopefully you should have something like this so basically where it was blank before you'll have your version of Windows and your operating bit number in the top left here and it will be powered off now this is probably the most important part it gets a bit complicated but it's quite easy if you just follow it step by step the next thing you have to do click on settings make sure obviously you've got Windows 8 PC clicked you know it's highlighted in blue press settings go on to system which is the second tab down then go on to processor now if you've got more than one CPU so perhaps I, I've got four CPUs physically but eight virtually because I've got a standard bridge processor so let's say for example you had four CPUs I'd advise you to have more than one CPU running so uh, in the virtual machine so if I had four I'd probably have two running and since I've got eight I'd probably have three running just you know because I don't want to have tons just in case the background the actual PC needs to do something important uh, make sure again you don't go over the red and make sure you might have to check it if it's got if you've got quite an old CPU make sure that it actually supports something called virtualization because if it doesn't you might as well just stick to one because it will still run fine on one you know it'll just maybe if you've got more than two or more than one you might as well just use them so enable PAE slash NX and then go on to acceleration make sure both of these are ticked then go on to display I've got more than 128 megs of video memory I'm not really sure why it's given me that maybe that's the max it can t uh, check I made it all the way to the top because I think you actually need a minimum of 128 megs uh, and enable 2D video acceleration. Don't enable 3D because there's no point, there's nothing 3D about it and it might slow down your PC. So enable 2D acceleration. So now we're going to actually add the ISO file. So what you do, you go and click on storage here and this, this tab here underneath IDE controller, click on it once, go over here and see here it's like I've got a little CD DVD icon it's got a little arrow there, click on it and say choose a virtual CD DVD disk file I said earlier make sure you know where the ISO file is so maybe you have to search for it if you didn't um, I've just put it in a really obvious place click on it press open and that's it now press OK so that's all fine now this is the actual install installation of Windows 8 you should have it powered off now click on it, make sure it's highlighted and press start. Now it should actually work. Um, I'll skip these steps, well not skip them, I'll speed them up or something because it does take a while to install. Okay so obviously you can choose the language English, uh, individual country, I'm from the UK and then just keyboard UK. So press next, install now okay so you accept the terms obviously press next now don't it's obviously highlighted upgrade you don't want to upgrade because there's you know since it's a virtual machine it's basically got nothing on there to start off with so you press custom advanced you want it hopefully you should have you know this, I chose it to have about 25 gigs if any other ones come up make sure you click on your virtual disk not on the actual you know your actual hard disk because it will probably muck it up press next and this is actually the actual installation process it takes, I that actually skipped that quite, it actually takes about two or three minutes to do that copying Windows files because I've, I've already installed it before, it should take about two or three minutes, so don't, you know, don't worry if, if you think why the hell has this gone so fast, it's just because I've already installed it and then uninstalled it. So this will take about maybe ten minutes, so I'll just skip it, Maybe I, actually I'll just pause it and I'll come back once I've got to the end of this. Okay, so this is hopefully what your screen should look like, so I'll just call it Home PC, exactly exactly what they say press next I just use express settings you can customize it if you want to just give a you know your personal email address I just made one up I mean so you can't make one up but this is just one I made up today and you should be connected to the internet via the virtual box let's give your password that isn't my password, I've forgotten. Next. And then it should be creating your account.
Okay, and this is Windows 8. You can't actually click on any of these if you've got a small resolution. So the first thing you have to do if you want to actually, you know, use any of the Windows 8 features, you have to go onto desktop, right click, click on screen resolution. Because it won't let you actually use that interface unless you've got at least 1024 by 768. So I've got quite a large high resolution screen, so I'll go for this one. You can also make it full windowed if you want, but I don't really like full window. You can do it if you go to view, switch to full screen. But I like it as a box, so I'll just do it, you know, a window in a window kind of thing. So that's a decent resolution. You press OK, keep the changes. And by the way, um, if you want to switch, by the way, it took me about five minutes to work out. If I click on something, for example, Internet Explorer, and then if I wanted to go, you know, exit out of it, I thought it was this button. It's not. That's just stop. I have no idea how to actually exit out of any of these apps. You have to press your start button on your laptop or your home computer. If you don't, you can press Alt Tab, and that gets you back. So yeah, that is Windows 8. You can choose, for example, news. You know, add a few uh, RSS feeds. Press done, and then right click. If you click on one, for example, you want Business Insider on the front page, you click on it and press right click, pin, pin to start. And then if you go back, you can see that the news has changed to just you know the ones from the business news. So yeah, uh, that's how to get Windows 8 onto here. Um, I'll do a future video on maybe all the different features and stuff that you can get on here and a few of these like apps and games and stuff like that because they look really cool. Hopefully now you've got Windows 8 up and running. If not, just go for it again and see if you've made any mistakes. If not, just message me or something or just write a comment and I'll try and help you. So thanks for watching. I know that was a really long video and I ummed and a bit but hopefully you enjoyed it and you've actually got Windows 8 up and running now.